briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of Texas heard a case in 2012 involving Patricia Hamilton, who sued pharmaceutical company Centacor Inc., claiming that they did not adequately warn her of the risks associated with Remicade, a prescription drug she received through her doctor. The court had to decide whether the learned intermediary doctrine, which requires drug manufacturers to provide proper warnings to prescribing physicians to pass on to their patients, applied to patient claims against drug manufacturers. Hamilton argued that Centacor violated this doctrine and also proposed that an exception for direct-to-consumer advertising should be considered. However, the court ruled that the doctrine generally applies in a physician-patient relationship and that there is no exception for direct-to-consumer advertising. Ultimately, the court found in favor of Centacor, as Hamilton failed to prove that the insufficient warning caused her injury. The Supreme Court of Texas reversed inconsistent portions of the Court of Appeals' judgment and ruled in favor of Centacor. It affirmed that the learned intermediary doctrine applied to all the Hamilton's claims and reiterated that their allegations of inadequate warning failed, as they could not prove causation between the warning and Patricia's injuries. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.